Welcome back to Skippers, presented by Owners Box Fantasy Sports. Today's segment, must add players, second version of it. We're going to give you two guys each who we think you need to pick up if they're available in your leagues. Obviously, waiver wire guys are a big part, uh, but if you see these guys, I think you need to pick them up. So, Jerry, you want to get into your guy first? Yeah, obviously, my side talked about it last week. Guys that we think that are instant ads, not even thinking about it, pick them up. Um, first guy I'm going, uh, he's got multiple eligibility based off uh, system you're playing on, but that's Donovan Solano, 45% rostered. Um, this guy kind of was the talk of the town last year. He had a great shortened season. I believe he hit 283, uh, but he was upwards of 300 for most of the year. Um, I think he hit higher than that. He was 300. I thought it was 283. Uh, we could look back and see, but, um, but you know, this year he's in 353 to start the year. And to be honest, like you look at his stats, he's, 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 he's the lowest he's ever been low, hard hit percentage, lowest it's ever been. K percentage is the high is very high for him. And the barrel percentage is the lowest it's ever been to start off the year. And, uh, you compare the other years, I'm banking on this guy that he's going to figure it out. He's still hitting 353, and his stats aren't what they usually are. Um, you know, he's going to he's gonna at least hit what, what he usually does in his average. So I think that this is a good pickup, 45% rostered. If he's available, pick him up because he is going to figure it out. Once he does, it, it can only help him. It's not going to hurt him. 326 last year. 326. Yeah. Okay, I must have completely read that wrong. But <laughs> Still a good hitter nonetheless. He's a guy mm-hmm. in your categories leagues who average is going to help you out. Like It's just what he is. I mean, he's not going to hit you home runs. Maybe he'll mm-hmm. score a couple runs here and there, but he's a big average help. If you have a bunch of big boppers on your team that you think you're going to get home runs for, but the average is going to hurt you. I think he's a perfect guy to pick up in that. So getting to my guy, this is a guy I love. I hate to say it, and it's Trevor Rogers of the Miami Marlins. Rodgers is rostered in 40% of leagues. Mm-hmm. I mean, he's one of my top undervalued guys to start the year, and he just came out and shoved against the Mets last week. His line so far, uh, two starts, 10 innings, giving up five hits, mm-hmm. two earned runs, striking out 16. Last year, the big thing was his swing and miss stuff was inflated. No way he can build off that. And then his first two starts this year, they've only grown, too. I mean, it's incredible stuff from Trevor Rogers. 38% called strike and whiff rate which is elite numbers for Trevor Rogers early. I mean, we're watching on, on the TV right now. He's fastballs up to 97 miles an hour right now, which is absolutely incredible up two miles an hour on average from last year as well. Uh, one problem we have with Trevor Rogers here. Um, well, obviously it's a must add guy, so you don't really care about mm-hmm. this stuff. But one of the things that Trevor Rogers is going to make him like a really good pitcher and like jump in ADP next year is if you can get that walk right down. We're even yeah. watching the game right now with the Braves. I mean, he's walking guys with two outs that you know the pitching coach is going to be on him about after. He's hitting guys early in counts. He's just like, oh, come on, Trevor. But the swing and miss stuff is there. It's incredible. And he's a guy that you, it can help you dominate your leagues the rest of your fantasy season if you're in a deep league. Um, but I think Trevor Rogers is incredible. There's so much to be excited about with a 50% whiff rate on his fastball and slider so far. I love Trevor Rogers. Your thoughts on Trevor Rogers is a must add. Yeah, he's been he's been awesome. Obviously, he uh, diced up the uh, Mets in a in a great pitching duel there in that game. Um, I I like taking like you said, it's not a risk, but you know, pitchers that can provide whiff percentage that looks good compared to guys who aren't getting the swing and miss stuff, but are still like a pitching. Ryan Yarbrough against a Trevor Rod. Yeah, Let's like go. you look at uh, Joe Ross for example uh, on Washington. Uh, he might be a waiver wire pickup for me, so stay tuned. But um, but he's just not getting swing and misses, but he hasn't even let a run yet in two starts. So what do you value with percentage or runs the against ERA type thing? Yeah. So I, I always like the guys who throw hard and I can make the mess. But like you said, that comes off of with, with the walk percentage. And that's what Rogers is what you got to look out for. But I think that's not an issue right now based off his strikeout percentage rate. Yeah. And I'm how I evaluate players. I always go for it might, it could be wrong, but. For me, it's always upside of young players based mm-hmm. on uh, old players regaining form. Is it right? I don't know. But for me personally, I'm always young guys with the upside is what I'm going to look for. So you want to yeah. get into your second guy, Jer? Great transition there, Avery, to young guys <laughs> who can uh, provide value. And that's Nate Pearson. You obviously know I'm big on him. Breakout player was I had him and then the injury setback. You know, people, I don't, people are dropping him and He's 39% rostered right now. I would pick him up. I think he's a must add to stash on your bench. He's 100% right now. He's come up and said that. Now he's just building his arm strength. 
you're looking at this Jays rotation and everyone is surpassing kind of their projections. Ryu is looking really good again. Uh, you have Steven Matz who's been dicing people up and you have Robbie Ray who looks really strong in his first start. Nate Pearson is going to come in and he is going to be excited. He needs to be able to control his nerves and be patient because he seems to be a type of guy who gets really excited based off kind of the mood of the team. Like he was last year, we saw like he was, he was ecstatic to be in that lineup a little too excited where he o- tries to overthrow pitches. He needs to stick to his game. And I think that he, he's obviously the, the clear number two in this rotation when he comes back. And I do think that he'll have a breakout year this year. Yeah. We haven't seen anything from him. That's why mm-hmm. he's a must add that people are just like, Oh, I'll forget about Nate Pearson early on. But it's like Zach Gallon too. Like guys, yeah. you just totally yeah. forget about Zach Gallon said he's going to be out for a month. And look, he just comes back and shoves within a week and a half of the season. So like, don't worry about your injuries too like too much early in the season when you're dropping these players, you need to look and pick them up. I picked up Keston here on my waiver wire in one of our leagues. Like it's just long season. Don't very overreact. Season. There's like 27, 28 weeks. We're in week mm-hmm. two or three or four coming up. I don't even know, but it's early. Um, so yeah, don't worry about Nate Pearson. Hopefully he'll be good when he comes up. I can't see him being bad, but that's, mm-hmm. I think he's a good must add. Someone like Logan Gilbert too must add. Yeah coming up Mackenzie Gore too, some things like that. So not bad. I'll go into my second must add player. That's former top prospect Casey Mize of the Detroit Tigers. Sorry about that. He's rostered in just 26% of leagues. He had a tough seven stars in 2020. Read off some stats here. Seven ERA, 1.5 whip. And he dropped his value like a ton for fantasy owners going into this year. His fantasy uh, value wasn't going to be high, but that just didn't help when he came and made his debut. And that's what Mm -hmm. he was doing. But so far, in two starts, he's lower, lowered his barrel rate by 10%, and he's thrown a gem against the Astros and revamped his pitch mix, kind of, um, along with some added velo. He was a big splitter cutter guy last year, and kind of when we look into his pitch mix now, it's a big four-seam slider. So that's a whole different way. Like, the cutter, sinker, splitter-type pitchers of yesterday, like my old coach, Mike Pelfrey, that was his, like, go-to. That's, like, a thing in the past. Now people are mm-hmm. going to the swing and miss, high fastballs, low sliders in the dirt. So him looking at his pitch mix and doing that, I think has been really helpful for him. He's also the big the splitter still a good pitch, but you look at his pitch mix. Now his slider has a 22% put away percentage and he's using his splitters for swing and misses early in the count to get ahead of hitters, which I think is a genius thing help from some of their pitching coaches there and looking at his repertoire over the, uh, over the off season. Obviously he was an elite prospect for a reason. We we're going to see why the rest of the season in fantasy baseball, 22%. Maybe you're not going to get your wins in your categories, but I think you can help mm-hmm. with ERA and whip. Uh, he should eat up some innings for a team. That's not very good as well. Uh, he's not going to get the run support. So maybe the wins you, it's a reason you stay away from Casey Mize, but I like him pretty much every other category to keep it going. And I mean, he's just throwing harder. It's, it's never going to hurt you. It's like up mm-hmm. three miles an hour on some of his fastballs. You're not never not going to like some added velo for your players. Yeah, you, you love that VL jump. Um, but yeah, it just really depends on like the Tigers. Obviously, they're they're not a good team. And it's people always forget about pitchers who are on really bad teams, um, if they're not the ace or whatever. But um, but no, he's looked good. I mean, this is the guy who we all thought he was gonna be. I mean, top prospect, everyone, everyone wants to see it, and he's getting his shine in that rotation now. So 22% rostered is pretty low. He should be available in most leagues. Um, but yeah, great pick. Thanks, buddy. Appreciate that, Jer. Subscribe to the channel. Join the Discord. Trying to get to 1,000 subscribers soon mm-hmm. for the end of the month. Big milestone for us, so help us out. Any more notes from you, Jer? No, make sure you subscribe. Make sure you comment who you like, Mize or Pearson. Pick your poison in the comments. Yeah. Here we go. Thank you, everyone, for tuning in, and we will see you next time.